everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm finally beginning the process of putting all these fruit trees in. These are some peach trees. I've got one here, and they're going to kind of go along this, this edge area here. I'm trying to make sure that they stay spaced out um, because they, uh, you know, they're going to grow. That's one, that's one probably one of the biggest mistakes that people make, including myself, when you put in trees. They look really small, and you put one in here, and you think, oh, well, maybe I'll put like, you know, the next one here. There's plenty of room between the two of them. And then they you know, grow when their branches are all in each other. So you want to look at what the final size of these is going to be, and not just what they look like when they're these inky dinky little tiny things. Um, once you figure that part out, uh, you want to get a hole in the ground. And uh, uh, what I will usually do when I do a hole is uh, to try to minimize the damage to the surface, I will kind of go in at an angle and scoop dirt out. So you're kind of creating kind of like a bowl underneath. Now if I step on the edges here, it might cave in. But what it does is it prevents a lot of damage to the surface so that you know I'm not destroying as much. It really wouldn't matter that much if I did damage the surface a little bit. I mean, who really cares? But it just gives it a nice, uh, cleaner look, less healing to do if you, uh, you know, can do most of your digging down under the ground. So I'm making a cavity that's bigger than the, the opening at the top here. If I can get all this dirt out here. What the dirt that's in here right now is uh, it's some of the clean fill that was brought in. And, uh, you know, it's not the worst clean fill in the world. Uh, it's what they called Sandy Bank Run, which is a mix of sand and the silty washings of all the rocks at the rock and gravel place. So when they're cleaning the rocks, they're washing the silt off. They mix that in with the sand, and then they create this kind of material, which people can use as fill. I chose it because it was pretty uh, inexpensive. And uh, it's kind of nice because it's not just sand where water goes straight through it. It's, uh, you know, it's got some of that silt in, so it's not going to be losing uh, moisture super quickly. So I think that'll be a better mix for what's below all the trees. But that said, I'm going to be putting in some of this compost. This is compost that was just left at the temporary house that I'm living at right now. Actually, that's just a ball of, ball of roots. We'll shake that off. So I grabbed some of this. I am going to be getting some compost delivered, but there's been a family emergency, a medical emergency, with the people that have been doing my site work. Uh, they've been in the hospital, and um, I'm not going to act surprised anymore. I'm getting used to it now. Um, uh, and things are, you know, getting better with them, but they, it, they're a little bit behind on stuff. So I figured instead of waiting for that delivery, I would just grab some stuff and, uh, you know, get some of them going. I won't have enough to do all of them, but at least a bunch of it. So uh, here's the tree. Uh, what you want to do is when you have these, uh, uh, rip these out of the way so you can see. Uh, trees are usually, oh, well, fruit trees are usually grafted. Here's the graft point. You want to make sure you don't bury it beyond this point. I'll probably bury it up to about there or so. I only buried it this deep in this plot because when I was doing it, this plot is only so deep. But I think I'll probably put the dirt line right up to about there. I'm going to check to see if I've got it right here. Now, the roots have not grown all through this, so when I, op I kind of pull this out, it may kind of rip apart. Yeah, so far, so good. Ah, okay. You can see all the roots going crazy in there. They'd love to escape this pot. All right, so it looks like I need to bring up the bottom a little bit, a couple inches. So gently take that out. There's only so many times I'll be able to move it like that before the whole thing comes apart. All right, so put a few more inches down here in the bottom. No matter how much compost and soil material you have, you never have enough, it seems. Okay, I'm gonna pack that in down there. We'll try again, just very gently picking this thing up, supporting it from the bottom. As I planted this in the pot, it, the tree was a little crooked. This gives me an opportunity to correct that mistake. Okay, something like that. And to correct the mistake, I'm just going to slope the ground on the inside here. Grab a bunch of this, throw it in. We're probably going to run out of video pretty soon. If we do, you have to imagine the last part of it, which is just me packing soil around the sides of it. All right, cool. Uh, no, not, not cool. Let's twist it a little more. Ah. Okay, that's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to be packing soil around the sides of it and then give it a nice dousing with water to make sure everything just kind of seals in and the roots can start growing again. That's it. Thanks for watching.